Yeah, there's some books, poetry books, a few of them in the show. Well, Trent, uh, as you see, Bernadette and I are kicking back tonight, 9.30 p.m. Saturday the 19th. And uh, just want to thank you for your fine letters and your uh, faithful friendship and describing what you're going through. Um, I think you did the right thing in coming out a little early and uh, working out uh, with the beer drinking a, d a couple of days earlier whatever he had you on doing nothing for 10 days now you get a little taste of what it's like to be disabled and that's i don't know if you could handle what i've been given to dealt with and that's not a disrespect of anything but unfortunately uh, i have several self-caused injuries that have prevented me from doing what you have in your middle 50s and so uh, Bernadette and I give you a lot of kudos for going on the hikes and uh, the swim and everything and uh, being proactive and getting this procedure done. Unfortunately, I'll see if you, I don't know if you can see it. For the first time, I cut down on my Propecia and almost immediately a bald spot started to develop. So I will go back to my usual everyday regime and I guess if I've come this far and done no prostate damage, that I'm going to go the rest of the way. Uh, other things on my mind, um, fitness. You asked, you said specifically about my fitness. Haven't been good. I can still go out there and knock off two miles. I could probably still go out there and hike to Wheeler Lake as well, as long as there's not snow. But um, my nature is to work hard whenever I get inspired, and so you certainly have inspired me. What else has been up, honey? I'm feeling better. Bernadette walked a long mile today, which was outstanding. I was so pleased that we <clears throat> went down to 7-Eleven and got some treats and are just celebrating, having a good time tonight. Uh, it's been a long time since she's been able to walk a mile, and this is a great sign. Uh, we both consider it a divine sign that she was inspired to go and then enabled to go and then she didn't melt down afterwards. So he went to mass. We were going to meet at mass, but I did. I wasn't feeling good. I didn't go. So I understand that that's a mortal sin if you're feeling good and don't go. So I mean, borderline go to hell already, because I was feeling half good, half bad. Uh, on the rest of the charts, Maddie haven't heard from him since he got back from Nepal, and probably won't hear from him until he returns to Nepal. Uh, that's just the nature of the beast, and uh, that's the way it goes. So I'm looking forward to my niece Marin's senior year. Well, she will be an all-star, all-conference, all-state in three different sports. And uh, Maddie went for the third, and he got more than he could ever imagine. So we'll be joyously on the sidelines filming and cheering her on all this year. It's going to be a lot of fun. I, I wish she could come up sometime or have a better relationship with Matt, or I should say Matt chose to have a better relationship with you. Um, what else, honey? Good news. Um, good news, I'm going to have a, a cutting edge surgical procedure for my Oh, dad. Bernadette is looking forward to the spinal surgery that taps with lasers up your back. It's non-evasive. People walk out of there the same day or the same weekend. and. Uh, Every single thing that's wrong with her back has been cured. She's asked a number of conservative doctors, hey, what do you think? And they think this is the way to go. Her sister has a square of metal rods in her back and is almost completely disabled. It's a sad, sad situation. The surgeons convinced her to have this procedure. But Bernadette's procedure is completely different. No surgery for me, just hit it hard on the uphills. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.